Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now, tonight's pour is going to be a Hot Wheels themed painting. You guessed it. Now, I've been kind of in a, a doing going through a dry spell of paintings here lately. I haven't been in the studio a whole lot. Been doing some other things. Um, just haven't been motivated, I guess, would be one word. Inspired is another word that probably would fit in there. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get back into it. I actually came down to do a commission piece and I decided to do a Hot Wheels one instead because I just wasn't wasn't feeling the the commission piece and I I don't want to uh, do a commission piece if I'm not not in the mood or not inspired or anything like that. So I decided to do a Hot Wheels piece. So tonight we're doing a 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. And there it is. 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. Muscle Mania 11. It must have been when this came out. I don't know. 2011. Hmm. But anyway, I've done some green pieces and I do like the green. So I decided to go with a black background. It's got some black in it. I'm doing a back, black background and I'm doing some green. So the green I picked was Master's Touch Light Olive Green. And as you can see, that matches that that matches pretty well so i've already got the paints mixed i've got the black paint down painted or mixed and already down on the canvas i've got the green mixed and i'm going to put in a little white now the black and white are artist loft brand so those are the brands i'm using so all i got to do is adjust the camera and we'll get started all right as you can see I have the black paint down. I've torched it to get all the air bubbles out of there. So we have our car and we have our paint ready. Of course, the car is not gonna go on right now, but I'm gonna take it out of the package so I can hold it over the painting when I get it done to see where about where it needs to go. Oh, package fell off. <coughs> night so there's the green on that so we're going to start it about right there some white in there like a thinner a thinner uh, streak so I'm gonna use a different hair dryer or hair blower I got this so here's my little one I haven't used it in a while but this is the supposedly the world's smallest hair blower I got it at of all places Cracker Barrel so it's kind of powerful you can see I'm gonna hold it up just to see um, I got it up pretty high
put a little bit more green up here. Side, maybe a little bit right in there. one of the car right there Just a little bit of I think that's all I'm going to do to it and give it a torch one more time. All right, there we go. We'll just wait for this to dry and then we'll get a coat of resin on there and put the car in and we'll have a killer piece again. All right, so we have this dried and I have the back taped. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. And I'm using Pro Marine resin. Seven ounces total, three and a half the hardener, three and a half the epoxy. I've got it mixed right here. I started for, uh, actually, I just did a little over two minutes. But I think they recommend three, but I get impatient. So, I just went two minutes. But you're really, they just want you to stir it long enough that it gets mixed that you make sure it gets mixed, and I know it's mixed.
So I just spread it out with, I just get a glove on, I spread it out. This is a self-leveling product, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, leaving streaks in it like that, it'll level out. And then I try to get the sides. Make sure I got every every place covered with resin. There's something in there. Oh, I felt that. Yeah, there's a little piece of something. So I got that out of there. That would look unnatural in there. So I did a countertop, our countertops in our kitchen. My wife talked me into doing that. The first one I did though, cause I did, we did our countertops different. We have a little corner desk that was kind of <clears throat> a countertop, but it was in the corner and we, and it basically has uh, drawers underneath it for, so we made a desk out of it. Just like a little desk. So, I actually, on that one, oh, there's, there is a hair in there. I thought I saw that earlier. Huh. Must be a, it's got, it's a little long, so it's got to be a beard hair. Because my regular hair is not that long. hair in there. Hmm. Glad I saw that. One good thing about this, the glare, you get to see, you see things in there. There was two things in there. There was, I think it actually was a hard piece of resin because the, I reused the measuring cup or I, in my stir, my resin in, and I had just cleaned it out. I have a video on how to clean those out. So I just cleaned it out before I started. And I probably got a little piece just knocked in there that I didn't realize. But anyway, so there's two pieces in there. So anyway, I was talking about my countertop. So the, to try to, to, before we really got into our kitchen countertops, we I decided to do the corner desk area. So I actually put acrylic paints in on it, blew it out like a Dutch pour, turned out really nice. And then I resined it after it dried. And when we did our countertops, I actually mixed some colored powder, Mika powders in with the resin and just poured it out. And then we added a few, little bit of, actually it was just spray paint and blew it out with a a blow dryer but anyway my story that I was or my point I was trying to get to was that things get in your resin you don't see a lot of times when you're pouring it which I ended up finding two things in it right now but there is a small piece of plastic when I sit at that desk and and uh do some work I see a piece of plastic every time now that got in the resin or was in the resin and we never did see it to pull it out and there's also a little gnat with his wings spread straight out like that so he's preserved in there forever so I got two things in my thing of course the gnat is really small can't really see it unless you're really looking for it but as an artist, as you know, you see all the flaws every time. So, we have our car. We're going to go right up in here with it. I want some of this white to show, so I'm going to pull it forward a little bit farther than I was going to. Well, 
I think that's a good spot. So there you go. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, leave a comment and let me know what you think of these colors. Um, I've never really been a big green fan, but I've kind of been doing some greens and I kind of like them. So, and as always, thanks for watching.